Okay, I'm gonna assume you have a landscape ready for you, and as well, I'm gonna assume you have some materials. If you don't, go to Quixel Bridge, download some materials, and you can get started on this tutorial. In this one specifically, I'm gonna be using a blend material uh, for the landscape that will incorporate three materials. So if you wanna do the same, just follow along, and I will teach you how I do it. Okay, let's open our content browser with Control Space, right click, go to Material, and then let's just name this landscape underscore mat and open that up. So the first thing you wanna do is navigate to your materials and start bringing in those files. So in this case, I have some grass, um, I have some mountain in here, um, like granite rock, stuff like that. So I'm gonna be opening those up and bringing them in. So you wanna bring in all three um, your texture, your texture, your normal, and your roughness. And just compile them all on top of each other. That's the correct one. Perfect. So now that you have your three materials in, um, you want to separate them and kind of make them look good. Also, the top layer is going to be the top layer. Um, so... So order them accordingly. All right, so now I'm gonna organize them each in the right spot so it looks nice and clean. Perfect. And then let's right click, type in landscape, and then you wanna do coordinate, uh, landscape layer cord. Perfect. Uh, and then you're gonna just S click to get a parameter node. Uh, I'm gonna name this M1, uh, and then I'm going to give it a value of one, and then I'm gonna M click to get a multiply node. And then now I'm gonna go to the right of the first uh, set, and then type in make material attributes and put that node in. Now let's plug and play our first set of nodes, and then I'm gonna copy paste them down. And then I'm also going to do uh, copy and paste the make material attributes as well. And then now you can do the multiply into the UVs of every single texture sample. And then take your texture and put it into base color, your normal and put it into normal, uh, and then your roughness into roughness. And then you're going to copy these steps for every single texture. Also, as you're going through, make sure to rename your parameters, uh, M1, M2, M3. Uh, this will affect how your material works. So make sure that parameter node is named correctly. Okay, so now that that is all done, the next thing we wanna do is type in a layer blend. Uh, so do landscape layer blend, and then you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna to go to this little plus sign and click it three times, so you get three different layer blends. Open them up, and then you're gonna name one each different thing as well. Um, in this case, I do mat one, mat two, and mat three. And then you're gonna right click and do break material attributes. Uh, so plug in the um, make material attributes into each correct layer and then plug in the layer blend into the break material and then now you can just plug and play across into the uh, material node and then you are set and ready to go. So apply, save. Perfect, now open in your content browser, go to your material and do create material instance. Uh, click on the material, click on the landscape, go for the little arrow at the landscape material and it'll be added. Yes, it's gonna look crazy, I understand. What you wanna do is go up to landscape on the top left hand section and then go to paint 
and you're gonna see these mats one, two, and three on the side. Just keep adding the weighted layer blend. Um, and then once you do that, you will have all the layers created and you'll be able to paint them around. Um, this is just a small error. There we go. And now you can paint your different layers onto your landscape. Um, the other cool thing about doing an instance is it allows you to open up menus very quickly and change the, the, um, the material. So in this case, I'm gonna go click on the landscape material, uh, enable our parameters that we created. And then now I can actually change the tiling on the parameters using this. So it looks a lot better when I change it down to 0.2. Uh, so now I'm gonna click save, close. And then now you can just see me playing around with the different uh, weighted layers for our landscape. Uh, and this is a really easy way to, to quickly get a nice landscape that you can design around and um, start making look good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. This should be quick and easy for you. Um, good way to get started on materials um, and a good way to get started creating your landscape as well. So hope you guys like this one. Uh, like and subscribe and catch you on the next one.